If you've got some background noise in your audio, how do you remove it using GarageBand? Well, that's what we're gonna cover in this video. Let's go. Yes, we're talking about this, the Sound Isolation AUV3 plugin here in GarageBand. Now, this doesn't look like much on the surface. It's a very simple plugin, but it does some pretty amazing things when it comes to isolating your voice from background noise in your audio files. The video clip you saw up front is this one, and I've converted it into an audio file so we can bring it into GarageBand and show you this magic. If you want to learn how to convert video to audio, check out the other video up there or in the description. To input this audio file, file into GarageBand. Here in GarageBand iOS, I'm going to tap on the loops icon. Now, instead of Apple loops, we're going to tap on files to open up the files option and then tap this one to browse our files app to import a file. I've saved this one in my downloads folder. So I'm going to go there and we're going to import this audio file. We can now tap, hold and drag this and drop it right here into our project. Now I already had this plugin added, but I'm going to delete it just so that we can go back to the start and show you the process. So here's our audio file on a blank track. We're going to tap on the plugins and EQ and then plugins and EQ again. Tap on the edit button and hit one of the green plus buttons. Now this plugin isn't one of your standard 10 effects. We need to tap audio unit extensions and scroll all the way down to the very bottom and tap on this one, AU Sound Isolation. If you don't see those plugins, go to the settings app on your iPhone or iPad, scroll down on the left until you get to GarageBand. And now over on the right, scroll down and make sure that this one is enabled. Enable Apple designed audio unit extensions. Flick that one on, then flick up from the bottom, close your GarageBand project, and then then reopen and you'll have all of those AUV3 plugins ready to use. Let's first turn off this plugin by tapping the blue button and listen to this audio without any noise reduction. If you've got some background noise in your audio and now with the sound isolation. If you've got some background noise in your audio, that's how you do it. You use the Sound Isolation plugin. Now, there are other plugins that I've demoed in the past, such as the Bruce Free Noise Reduction plugin. If you want something that has more options and more flexibility, you can check that one out. There's videos about that linked in the description. But for something that's free and included with GarageBand, it's fantastic if you're bringing in loops or you're bringing your own audio in and you want to remove that noise this is the way to go. Free is always cool. To learn more about creating, recording and releasing music with GarageBand and all of the different plugins, check out the other five minute quick tip videos on GarageBand down in the description and I'll see you next time.